Hi everyone, my name is Kristen Hayes. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator. And today we're doing another sneak peek out of the upcoming January to April 2023 mini catalog. And um, we're going, going to be using the Country Bouquet stamp set again. I used it in my last video to do a different card. Um, this doesn't have a die set, but it does have a punch that punches out these pieces here. Um, we're not using that today either, but I just thought I'd show you a different way to use this set. So let's get started. I have a piece here of petal pink. It's cut at eight and a half by five and a half, and I did score it at four and a quarter. All right. Then I have a piece here um, of the Country Gingham DSP. Now I did show this more in detail in my last video if you wanted to take a look, so I'll skip that this time. But it's cut at five and a quarter by four, and we're just going to adhere this right onto our base. All right. Then I have a piece of the same, the Country Gingham DSP again. This one is cut at four and a half by three and a quarter. I just love these subtle colors together. I think they're so pretty. This whole suite is just really nice. Okay. Then I have a piece of the Country Floral Lane DSP. And again, I showed this one in a little more depth in my last video. This is cut at four by two. And we're going to adhere. The two DSPs in the suite coordinate so well together. You can do a lot of mix and matching. Whoops, we got a little, little piece stuck. I'll get that off after, well, maybe. It's gonna drive me nuts. All right, we're gonna do it after. All right, so then <laughs> um, we're going to work on our heart. So I've got, um, let's see, let's start here. I've got a piece of basic white. This is just scrap. We're going to start with the leaves and mint macaron. We'll just ink those up right here. And then we're going to do the flowers and the hearts. So we're going to start with Petal Pink and ink that up in the Petal Pink. And then we're going to come in with our Dauber and some Sweet Sorbet. I might call it Strawberry Sorbet sometimes. I don't think I have in the past. Anyways, it's Sweet Sorbet. And I'm just going to dot along different areas on here with my Dauber. When you're doing stamping like that and you're adding color, always start with your lightest color first and then add your darker one with the dauber. Now, if you wanted to get really detailed, you could use your Stamparatus and your your markers, not your um, Stampin' Blends, but the regular markers and just color in like if you wanted all the hearts one color, all the flowers one color, you could do it that way. But I would use the Stamparatus for that. Okay, so we're just gonna line this up take a minute to look around make sure it looks good give that a stamp there we go you can see all the colors in it so what I did is this need, does need to be fussy cut because there isn't a punch or die for this and instead of having you guys watch me do that I did cut one out ahead of time and then we just need to do our sentiment. Now, this is a piece of balmy blue. This is cut at one and three quarters by one inch. And we're going to be using some heat embossing with it. Let me just grab the white emboss powder. All right, so I've got a piece of scrap here. Just going to use my embossing buddy. And then I'm going to bring in my sentiment. This is a nice sentiment. I love that we are friends. So it doesn't have to be for Valentine's. And actually, I was thinking also this set with the hearts and everything, it could be used for upcoming weddings or engagement cards or things like that as well. I like to get a little more mileage out of each stamp set than maybe what it's intended for. So we're just going to sprinkle the white on here. 
cap that off. I did cut two pieces just in case I screwed one up. All right. And then we're just going to bring in our heat tool. Just anchor it here. Okay. Whoops. I'm sorry about the camera. There we go. So now we need a piece of ribbon. This is the balmy blue and white ribbon. Let's see if they have a special name, variegated ribbon. And you just need about eight inches. So I'm just gonna use my ruler on my grid paper. And let's grab this. So I'm gonna put the ribbon on the back of this first. So I'm just going to put some adhesive on and then kind of layer it on how I want it to look. Make sure I'm going the right way here. Yep, okay. So we'll just push it on like that and it should stick nicely. Then what we're going to do is use some dimensionals. Let's see, here's one. And that'll help hold down that ribbon too. All right, so I'm gonna push position this right about here. And that ribbon is a little bit long, so I'm just gonna trim it a little bit. There we go. And then I have our heart. So I'm gonna pop this one up on dimensionals as well. All right. And then we're just gonna place it right here to make sure we're not going over our words. There we go. So here's the one we made. Oh wait, I forgot the um, little embellishments. These are the pastel based, pa pastel adhesive backed sequins. And we're gonna use these pink ones. I'm just gonna put a few, I'll get a big one over here. And then we'll put another one here, I guess, down there. So there's the one we made. And here is our original. Let me get this out of the way. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, just leave them linked down below. Thank you.